Hey everybody, I'm at Vibe Fitness. This is where I teach my Brighton Hula Hoop class and I'm going to try to get a quick tutorial in before class shows up. I just got here. Alright, this is the move. So in this walk, our left hand is doing nothing. It stays on my hip the whole time. It's all in the right hand. The palm is faced towards your body. So here I've got it in the front and it slides around to my back, like this. So our hoop, you have to have a nice grip on it so that it doesn't flop around sloppily. It can't be sloppy or you'll trip. Keep it nice and steady to the front, to the back. Now start like this with your hoop in the back. We start like this. As we pick up our first step, we're going to use our left leg. We're going to start with the hoop behind us and only one part of the hoop is gonna pass before we step. Now for all the remaining steps, two parts of the hoop pass, one side and the second side. Before we step again, so we pick up our leg, one part passes, two part passes, step down. Now this time, we pass through this side, then the opposite side, it does a bigger wrap. One part passes, two part passes, down, one, two, 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 down. <laughs> now it's important to keep control of this hoop and that it stays close to the ankles of the foot that you're not stepping with. If it rocks around that shin or that ankle of the hoop or of the foot that you are not picking up, you are less likely to trip over it. If it gets too far away, you're going to get caught up in there. So keep it right around the high ankle area, the high ankle. Yeah, all right, you can do this as always. Oh, I gotta give credit, this move is from Melita Benjamin and her hoop de boop hoop troop. I just love this move and when I showed my students, we had to put it in our routine too. So thus here is the tutorial for everyone to get it down. It's a great move, it's very creative and fun. Have a great one everyone, keep it up here.